How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in about versus Bradger in the Smogon Overused tier. Stick around till the end for a bonus battle and with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck out from Bradger. So they're going to lead off with Glitch of the Distant Pass, the Porygon Z, as I led off with my Sizzle. So obviously I know this thing doesn't get any fire moves. There is the chance that they Terra Fire Terra Blast, but I doubt it. So let's go straight for a U-turn, knowing that they're probably going to switch out. They do have Terrify, don't they? They do have Terra Blast Terrify, don't they? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, wait, no, they're Terra Normal. Okay, so that's, that's fine. Terra Normal's fine. They're, they're going all out for the attack. They obviously see Scizor as a threat, so they're going to go for the attack. They go for the Hyper Beam, Terra Normal, probably adaptability with maybe Choice Specs. Can Scizor live this? We lived, barely. Okay, we go for a U-turn, and that... Has a crit? <laughs> wow. Okay, why is this game so far? What is going on? Wild. Absolutely wild. So, even if I didn't crit there, I would have still been able to bring any Pokemon in and finish it off because it'd have to recharge. You can't switch out when you recharge. So, I'm not really bothered about the crit too much. Um, what I'm going to do is, because they get a free switch in now on whatever I bring in, I'm going to go into Dragapult because it outspeeds everything on the team, unless they're Scarfmons. Um, so, there we go. Lycanroar comes in, the Dragapults. Let's see what they want to do. Darkrai, the Pokemon fan, comes in. Now, what are the chances this thing's Scarfed? I don't think there's a very high chance it's Scarfed, but I don't want to risk it, so I'm just going to switch out. Um, what do I switch into? Probably Florges, right? Yeah, let's go Florges. They can't Terra Poison or Terra Steel, so we know we can smack it in the face of a Moonblast if we want to. So Floor just seems like the best option for Darkrai. Even if they Sludge Bomb here, it shouldn't do it KOs, which is amazing. So um, they go for a Dark Pulse, which is going to do note to Floor just. There we go. Darkrai's perfect counter is Floor just. That was a crit? What is it with the crits this game? There's just crits everywhere. Some of them matter, some of them don't. Either way, they lost the Paragon Z. It is what it is. I need to stop talking about it. Anyway, should we go for a Moonblast or should we go for something else? I I'm leaning towards going for a Wish. I think I will go for a Wish, because they probably switch out like they have done, and probably go into Corviknight, if I had to guess. Or Swampert. Or Morlia. That's going to be the Corviknight, right? Yeah, nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. It's pressure. We go for a Wish. That's going to be great for us. So, I'm hoping that we can see maybe a U-turn here from the Corviknight. Or an Iron Head. Um, it's pretty obvious what we're going to do here, right? So, they could go for a Brave Bird. I am leaning towards... I'm going to try and get the Scizor healed. Because if they go for an Iron Head, we live. If they don't go for an Iron Head, then we die to a Brave Bird. But I, 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 I'm hoping for the Iron Head. If they don't go with the Iron Head, it's fine. They go for the Brave Bird, which is going to take us out. So we still have the Wish for later, I believe. I think it can come through. The Wish can later. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I, I, I never understand how Wish works in this game. Uh, so what do we do here? I I'm leaning towards a Dragapult's Flamethrower, and I'm going to go into Dragapult's. So we're going to our good old Lycanroar, the Dragapult's. We're obviously not going to get any Wish recovery now, but later, if we bring in a Pokemon that's damaged, it should get a Wish, right? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Let's go for a Flamethrower. They do stay in like an absolute legend, and they're going to go ahead and take it like a champ as well. Go for a U-turn. And get on out of there. So that is a shame. I wish they would have gone for Brave Bird there. Just so that we could go for another Flamethrower. But they probably go Swamp it now. They probably realize that we're Choice Specs by that damage. And they're going to go into Gaia, which is going to be the Swamp it, right? No, it's the Hydrapple. So Hydrapple is also a good one. It can definitely take a Flamethrower, no problem. Uh, we 100% go into Floor just here. Again, they can't Terra, so it's like, whatever. So we don't have to worry about any Terra Steel Terra Blast shenanigans from this Hydrapple. Not that that's really... A thing, is it? I don't really know. I'm, 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 I'm not used to seeing Hydrapple in the OU tier, you know? Anyway, I say that like I'm not using unusual mons in the OU tier. <laughs> like Florges, for example. Anyway, uh, they go for an Earth Power, which is going to do a little bit of damage to us. Just a little bit. Now I can go for a Freedy for a Moonblast, so I'm going to go for the Moonblast. They do withdraw. Are they going to go Corviknight? I'm, I'm wondering whether Moonblast two shots Corviknight from here. They go into Armolia, the Corviknight, as you would expect. And uh, we go for a Moonblast after they exert some pressure. Let's see how much damage that does to the Corviknight. Uh, not enough, really. Especially considering I think they had leftovers, right? Um, or they might not. I think either way here, 
They aren't leftovers, so they must be Rocky Helmet. I think they go for a Roost here, so I'm going to go into... Mm, I'm going to go into... I'm going to go into Dragapult because I feel like they go for a Roost. If they don't go for a Roost in the attack, then we can get the KO with the Shadow Ball, um, which would be ideal. So let's go Dragapult like so. They do go for the Roost, which is fine. Is it going to recover enough damage so that Flamethrower can't KO it? That's the real question. I don't know. They probably go for a U-turn, so I'm going to go for a Flamethrower again. They're going to withdraw? What are they going to go into, though? That's the real question. Gaia again. That's the Hydrapple, right? There we go. Nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. We go for that Flamethrower. We should do a little bit of chip. Not too much. Not too much. So naturally, we're going to go into Floor just now because it's the best switching we have to Hydrapple. There's nothing it can do to touch us. Even if it goes for a Fickle Beam, it's not going to affect us. Even if it gets all out Fickle Beam, it's not going to do anything. So we can definitely go into Floor just here. They do withdraw. They make the double. They predict it. Floor just does really well against their entire team except from the Corviknight. They go into Mudstar. That's a Swampert. Yep, there we go. Swampert comes in. Um, which is fine. That's fine. Floor just is fine. We can probably expect some sort of um, Stealth Rock here or something along those lines. So I'm going to go Gyarados because Gyarados A, doesn't care about the um, Earthquake that could be coming or the Flip Turn. It's going to bounce right off us. Gyarados actually does pretty well against their entire team after a Dragon Dance as long as we get rid of that Superior. So they do go for the Flip Turn, which is going to do a decent bit of damage to us. Um, and they're going to withdraw. What are they going to go into to take on Gyarados though? Are they going to go with the Hydrapple? Or something along those lines. Natrix comes in, which is going to be what? The Superior. So Superior does come in. It can't Terra. We know this. We could Terra Flying Dragon Nance to be resistant to the Leaf Storm. Um, it's always a possibility. But I feel like... What's my switching? What is my switching? Flogis? Flogis will just get a Cell Pond because it can't touch it in return. And if we Moonblast it and it gets a Special Attack Boost because of Contrary, we'll be screwed. Um, so I think the best Pokemon we have to answer to this is Dragon Dance Gyarados with Terra Flying. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Again, they've already terra so they can't pull the Terra Rock on us or anything like that. So we should be all right here. So Terra Flying with a Dragon Dance, we should be golden. So let's go for it. Let's just go for it. So they do go for a Glare. Wasn't expecting that. I know it's a move that Superior does run, but I wasn't expecting it. I thought they'd go straight for a um, Leaf Storm. Either way, we've got a Dragon Dance up. So we're looking pretty good right now because there isn't anything on their team that really wants to switch on a Terra Blast here. So let's go for the Terra Blast. They go for a Substitute. So they're going to try and sub up. They're going to try and sub up whilst we until we get fully paralyzed, which we don't this turn, which is great. So we go for a Terra Blast. And basically, they're going to keep subbing, probably. And every time I face one of these, I know exactly what I'm going to do. They're going to keep subbing until they get a fully paralyzed uh, Gyarados, that's pretty much what they're going to do. So, um, they've got Substitute Glare, probably Leaf Storm and Dragon Pulse, if I had to guess. So, that's something. Um, we just continuously go for a Terra Blast here. There's no reason not to. So, they withdraw. Okay, so they've re they, they, they don't want to lose their Superior, because Superior does really well against our team, right? So, they don't want to do the Superior. Um, they don't want to lose it to the Substitute Whittling Down. Um, so, they're going to go into Corviknight, which makes sense. It's going to take a Terra Blast to the face. Uh, plus one. I think it'll still hurt. Uh, it still hurts. That's good. That's good. So what we can do now is we should be able to go for a Waterfall. We should outspeed. We do outspeed even though we're paralyzed because of the Dragon Dance. And we take out the Corviknight. So we're actually really good right now. So Gyarados puts in the work. Takes out the Corviknight of all things. The one thing that was meant to wall Gyarados is the one thing that Gyarados takes out, which is hilarious. Darkrai comes in though. That thing is a threat. Um, naturally, it's probably Focus Sash with Nasty Plot, if I had to guess. So, I do kind of want to go for a Waterfall. Um, I can't really switch anything in. So, we're going to have to go for a Waterfall here. They do go for a Dark Pulse. Can we live? I think we'll live one. Yeah, we can. Waterfall comes through. Please be Focus. Uh, please don't be Focus Sash. There we go. Dark Cry goes down, which is great. So, Gyarados is putting in the work once again, which is fantastic. We get that Moxie Boost. We live in Dark Pulses from Dark Rise. You name it, Gyarados does it. So in comes Gaia the Hydrapple. So this thing is a threat. And we should outspeed it. But I bet we get fully paralyzed here. Watch. We don't. Terra Blast comes through. The paralysis is just not doing anything to Gyarados. As the Gaia goes down and gives us another Moxie boost. Brother. What is going on? Go into Superior or something. <laughs> Natrix comes in. That's the Superior, right? Yeah, Superior comes back in. It's a full HP. 
We don't outspeed it, but we go for a Terra Blast anyway. They go for a Leaf Storm, which probably won't KO us. It does KO us. Okay, so now Superior is going to make an epic comeback, right? So Gyarados goes down, but it took out three of their Pokemon, which is amazing. Gyarados just fights through the paralysis like what an absolute legend. However, we can just go into our Lycan Row, the Dragapult, and we sh do we do outspeed the Superior, that's for sure. We can go for a Flamethrower, or is Dragon Meteor better? Um, because he might go into Swampert here. I say we go for a U-turn to weaken the Superior, because I'm not confident Flamethrower will take it out. I'm confident Flamethrower will take it out now, but I wasn't confident then. So let's go out of there, and then we'll go into our... I'm leaning towards Florges. I don't... Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many Leaf Storms, how many special attack boosts the Superior gets, because at the end of the day, it's night, and, um... Floor just isn't doing much for us anymore other than this. So, because obviously the Dragapult outspeeds the Superior, so it doesn't really matter how high the special attack gets. They go for a Glare, though, which is going to be annoying for Floor just. They probably want to sell up a Substitute here while wow, they've got Leftover Recovery coming through. That's probably what they're going to do, start setting up subs, um, which is going to be annoying. It's definitely going to be annoying for us. Definitely going to be annoying for us if they set up Substitutes because they could pull back we don't have Infiltrator either. Let's Moonblast. Uh, they do try and substitute while we're paralyzed. Obviously, we're going to get fully paralyzed this turn because that's just how it goes. We don't. That's great. That should break a sub. Should break a sub. Let's see if it does. It does. So, Moonblast breaks the subs, which is great. So, they can't really go for the substitute strat. because Well, they can. It's just it heavily relies on us getting fully paralyzed, which in my opinion is like... The worst thing they could do here. So if I were them, I'd just go for the Leaf Storm. They have gone for the Leaf Storm. Does note, but he gets a special attack boost for them. And then our Moonblast should take them down to a good... Oh, it takes them out. Wasn't expecting that from Florges. Nice. Nicely done. Nicely done, I must say. In comes Mudstar the Swampert. So this thing could pull things back for them. Because my whole team is like kind of like weakened. Uh, not weakened, but they can't really do anything. It's like... Great Tusk can't really touch Swampert. Reuniclus can, but it's slow and probably gets outsped and has really low physical defense. So I'm going to go for a Moonblast here. Um, as they more than likely go for an Earthquake, they do. Swampert comes through. And that nearly takes us out. We go for a Moonblast though. That's going to do a lot of damage. Nice bit of damage. Nothing too major, but um, it's fine. So I I'm wondering the leftovers. I was going to say, I'm wondering if they're Assault Vest or not by that damage. But I don't think, I think if they were Assault Vest, they'd have taken it a lot better. So that's great to know. So let's see what happens now if I go for another Moonblast. They probably take us out of an Earthquake, right? Yeah, Earthquake comes through. That's fine. So Earthquake comes through for the floor just to go down. And now we just go into uh, to Dragapult and drop a Draco, right? I think that's all we need to do. Just drop a Draco. They might have Avalanche, but it's fine. I'm going to bring Dragapult in anyway. So let's see if Swampert can pull this back a little bit. So we'll go for a Draco Meteor, and we'll see how much damage it does. Let's go for it. There we go. Nearly KOs it, which is great, which means another one will KO. They go for an EQ, though. That's going to definitely do a lot of damage to us. Won't take us out, though. As Dragapult should be able to finish off the game with a Draco Meteor, which is fantastic. So um, let's go for the Draco Meteor once again. Draco Meteor comes through. Boom. Mudstar goes down. Brilliant. Okay, so Swampert's down, and that is going to be the game. So, GG, Bradgo. That was a fun one. A bit of hacks on both sides. More so mine than others, but GG regardless. It's time for a bonus battle, and this time we're going against Osha Watts from the Discord server in the overused tier. Stick around till the end for a rental code for the team, and with that being said, let's jump straight to the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Osha Watts. So, they're going to lead off with Grimmsnarl, which I expected. For me, it was either a Pink Kirchin lead or a Grimmsnarl lead. So I was like, you know what, Sizzle does pretty well here. We can have a U-turn on the Pink Kirchin or we can Bullet Punch the Grimmsnarl. So let's Bullet Punch the Grimmsnarl straight away. There we go. We outspeed them because of the prior, you know, our priorities faster. And we take out the Grimmsnarl. I want it. Wow. But in the last game, we took out the first Pokemon and won it with Sizzle as well. What's Sizzle doing? He's on steroids. Granbull comes in, which is a good one because it's going to get that Intimidate. It's nice and shiny as well. Got to love it. I uh, guess that Intimidate off. Granbull's an interesting one to see. So we know with this thing probably outspeeds us. Um, and it can get moves like Fire Punch, for example. So I think the best thing for us to do is to go into Great Tusk. I know it's weak to play rough, but it's like defensive. So it'll definitely take a player from a Gramble. 
Um, so we'll go Great Tusk real quick like so. And we'll see what they're going to do. And um, they do go for a bulk up, which is terrifying. That's terrifying. Gramble with bulk up could potentially sweep our entire team right now. So we have to be very careful with what we do here. So I want to get Stealth Rocks up, but I really don't want to... I think they go for another bulk up, if anything. Um, so I'm kind of tempted to go into Sizzle, but they probably Terror if we do that, right? So I think what we have to do here is just whittle this thing down because it has no it has no reliable recovery. So we'll go for an Earthquake, get some damage off on it. They go for a Trailblaze. But I'm still confident that Sizzle can like take the thing out. If we weaken it enough, Sizzle can take it out. Because Rocky Helm is going to hurt them anyway if they attack us. So we should be able to get this thing low enough for Sizzle to come in and just bullet punch you in the face to kill it. I think. So let's go ahead and just go for another Earthquake. No real reason not to. Earthquake comes through. It should do about it. We still out speed, which is hilarious. Um, they go for another bulk up. Again, we just need to weaken off for Sizzle to pick it off with a bullet punch. Because this thing doesn't get reliable recovery. It doesn't get no Moonlight. No Morning Sun. No Wish. It might get Wish, actually. I don't know. I don't think it'll be Wish, though. If it's Wish, it's less of a threat because it means it's got less attacking moves. So let's go for an Earthquake. There we go. We outspeed still, of course. And that's going to do a lot of damage. Nicely done by Great Tusk. They go for an EQ. Maybe expecting the Sizzle to come in. Or they don't want to get the Rocky Helmet chip. That's probably the right one. So we go for another EQ. It should do a lot of damage to them. Takes them right down to red. There we go. As they go for an EQ again to try and take us out. But unfortunately for them, it's not going to do the job. As Gramble... Gramble's like a really interesting one. Like I'm really happy to see it being used. But the reality is that compared to the Moe Pug in the OU tier, it's not that great. So let's go for another Earthquake. And that's a shame because I, 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 you know, this is coming from the guy that uses lower tier mons in OU all the time. I want to use Gramble. It's just hard to get to work because it's just like underwhelming, you know? I'm sure if they went for a play rough there, it would have taken us out, but the Rocky Helmet would chip would have taken them out as well. So it was like, was it worth it? I think it would have been. In comes the Azumarill. This thing can definitely take us out with whatever it wants to go for. Um, we more than likely see a Belly Drum. So anticipating that, I'm going to go for an EQ. So they go for an Aqua Jet to take us out, which is fair enough. They didn't want to mess around going for no Belly Drums, um, which makes sense as now down goes Great Tusk. So Great Tusk finally goes down. Um, after doing a lot of damage to the Gram Gramble, more KO in the Gramble, and uh, all that stuff. So, Azumarill is here. Do we go into Reuniclus? Reuniclus actually does pretty well against that team, the remaining team anyway. Uh, or do we go Gyarados? I'm leaning towards the Gyarados for the Earthquake, because I don't want him to Belly Drum. That's for sure. Um, I kind of want to keep Scizor around, but at the same time, I'm like... I might just go in and bullet punch it because nothing really switches into a bullet punch other than the pink urchin and the Raichu. So let's go Scizor. And let's just bullet punch. There's no real reason not to. I know they probably switch out or terrestrialize, but it's worth it to not that let them like belly drum because if they belly drum, we're kind of screwed. So they're going to tell it terrestrialize into a water type, making them resistant to steel instead of neutral, um, which is a shame because it means bullet punch isn't going to do as much damage and they could get off a belly drum here. We go for a BP. How much damage is it doing? Not a lot, really. As the life orb is going to whittle away at us. There you go for a belly drum. They're probably citrus berry. That zoom roll has just become a massive threat already. So we need to be very careful with what we do here, right? Now, luckily, a zoom roll relies on a 40 base power water type move to outspeed the majority of my team. Um, we go for a bullet punch here 100% of the time. So bullet punch comes through. And that's going to do a nice little bit of damage to the zoom roll. Losing some HP for ourselves. And then they go for an Aqua Jet. We out, we out prioritize them because we're just faster. Aqua Jet will take us out though, as it does. So Sizzle goes down. But Sizzle did pretty well there. It took out straight on the first turn of the Grim Snarl. It's weakened the Azumarill enough to the point where I, I can bring whatever I want, really. Dragapult can live an Aqua Jet and go for a Shadow Ball. And it can stay locked into Shadow Ball. And Gyarados can't really do that. I think Dragapult's the way to go. Just because I know we can live an Aqua Jet. And if we don't live this Aqua Jet, then I'll be very surprised. Let's go for a Shadow Ball. The Aqua Jet comes through. I know it's boosted by Terra, but I don't I don't think it KOs Dragapult from here. It barely lives. I thought so. Because I've battled an Azumarill before, a non-Terra one, and we lived with like a third of our HP. So I was like, surely we'll live with like a sliver this time. But anyway, we did. Azumarill goes down. Um, the only problem we've got now is that we don't have a super great amount of Pokemon for the Raichu in the Surge Surfer. 
So U2 is going to come in. What's that, U2? The pink urchin. It gets that electric terrain up, which is going to be great for the Raichu. Not so great for my Dragapult, that's for sure. We always stay in and go for Shadow Ball here because it stops them from switching into Raichu or Hatterene. So Shadow Ball comes through. That's going to do a lot of damage to the pink urchin. It does about half, which is great. They go for a Memento, but that's not going to work on us because we have the clear body. There we go. See, clear body works. And then they go down. So that, that pink urchin basically just committed Sapuko or whatever it's called for no reason. <laughs> Other than to get a free switch in. So they go into Bicer, which is going to be the Raichu. This thing it has a Surge Surfer. It 100% outspeeds get Dragapult. But, and they also have the Electric Seed. By the looks of it. Yep, yeah, boosting their defenses. So that is terrifying right there. However, we do have methods to take care of the Raichu. We've got the Floor we've got the Reuniclus. So I say... We let Dragapult go down. So they go for a Thunderbolt. That's going to definitely take us out, as it does. Lycan Row goes down. But Dragapult did pretty good here. It took care of the threat that is Azumarill after a Belly Drum, which is always nice. And also they had Terrid, so not too worried about that. So we haven't Terrid yet, which is good. Let's go Reuniclus. I think Reuniclus does really well here, so we're going to do that. Flubber can come in. Like so. They got a Defense Boost, not a Special Defense Boost, so we should be able to go for a Shadow Ball right now. They go for a nasty plot. Oh, that's going to be terrible for us. We are Assault Vest, so I'm confident we can still take a Thunderbolt in Electric Terrain. And Shadow Ball nearly takes them out anyway. Let's go for another Shadow Ball. I'm pretty, I'm, like I said, I'm pretty confident we can live a Thunderbolt here at plus two. We do. Okay, that Assault Vest comes in clutch. Reuniclus comes in clutch. There we go. Down goes the Raichu, which is fantastic. So Reuniclus coming through for us right now. The only problem we're going to have is that Hatterene gets a free switch in right now. And it could potentially be a Calm Mind Agility set. And we have no real way of dealing with it. So let's um, let's see how this plays out for us. Let's go for a Shadow Ball first and foremost. Get some damage off. So we outspeed it, which is great. We go for the Shadow Ball before they can get Calm Mind up. That's a lot of damage. They go for a Mystical Fire. That's going to lower our special attack. But I think Reuniclus still KOs here. So let's go for another Shadow Ball. There we go. Reuniclus comes through. And down goes the Hatterene. That is going to be the game. So GG Oshkwats. That was a fun little uh, bonus battle right there. So GG. That was a pretty fun one. I enjoyed that. Thank you for the game, Oshkwats. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Let me know if you do use it. I'd love to hear your success stories. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.